All right, hey guys. So today I got kind of a cool video. So I was sort of editing this whole thing and me taking this apart, but it was taking way too long. So I just figured I'd show you guys what I did instead. So basically this used to be my grandpa's computer, right? And I think he used it from about 2005 to 2007, I think. Um, and I always just thought it was a really nice case. It's got this really cool sort of uh, crystal kind of front to it and it sort of glows blue with the sunlight. I don't know, I really always dug the look of this computer. And let me see if I can give you guys a bit of a closer look. So, here you go. It's a little hard to notice in the lighting, but um, it, the camera doesn't do it justice. But it's got kind of sort of almost a mirrory sort of finish to the front of it. And uh, I don't know, it's very, it's definitely early 2000s PC kind of look. So basically I replaced the optical drive. There used to be a white one here, but sadly it was like a 24 pin. So I wanted to switch it out for a SATA since I ended up upgrading the motherboard and uh, CPU and everything. Now let's get this cover off so I can show you guys what's inside. All right guys, so here we have the inside of the PC. I'm kind of feeling like this is like a Linus Tech Tips video or something. <laughs> Let me give you guys a little bit of a tour inside here. So basically I got a two and a half inch drive in here and it's got an adapter to like a three and a half inch and that's all been screwed in inside of this sort of cage area down here where all the drives are housed. Um, there's a lot of space here actually. And also up here you can see the optical drive plugged in. I got the power and the SATA just like, just like on this hard drive down here and it's into the motherboard. now. There's a lot of cables coming out of this uh, power supply here, so it's a little bit of a mess here, unfortunately. But luckily, the side panel of the case is totally uh, not see-through, so you can't see the mess, which is kind of nice. Kind of a plus of it, I guess. If I had some LEDs, then it'd be kind of silly, though. Um, and yeah, so it's a 430-watt power supply. It's actually pretty decent, you know, considering it's just mainly powering a processor and not like a GPU. Um, so yeah, and here it's got the, uh, you know, your default Intel cooler. Um, and I uh, got some eight gigabytes G-Skill, or no, 16 gigabytes of G-Skill RAM. Um, yeah, and it's even got room for like a graphics card if you wanted to try to install one. Although it'd be a little bit of a cramped uh, space in here. I'd probably have to move this drive either up or down, probably up here or something. Uh, actually, there's not even room. That's where the floppy disk drive is, actually, I just realized. Yeah, I forgot to say earlier, but there is a floppy disk drive right here. So, anyways, I don't think I'm gonna be putting a graphics card in here anytime soon anyways, especially with the chip shortage and everything. This is more This is more gonna be like a like a work PC if, uh, if I needed to have a spare PC for someone to do some work on. Yeah, um, cool. So let's get it sealed back up. All right, I wanted to show us turning this PC on, you know, just making sure it works, so let's do that. All right, here we go, and it's working with Windows 10. Check it out, freaking awesome. 2005 case, 2016 PC components. I guess it just kind of goes to show the flexibility of a PC, you know, the standards are still the same from 2005 up to pretty much now. You can still use like a new motherboard in an old case if you wanted to, which I think is pretty amazing. There's something really cool about that, you know, and also like it helps you save money too. If you have a spare case lying around, or maybe you want to bring back life to some old PC, you know? And uh, yeah, it's pretty, I don't know, it's pretty sweet. I think it's awesome. Like I could even throw in like a graphics card in there potentially if I wanted to turn that into like a gaming PC, you know? I don't have a use for it right now. But, um, but yeah, it's kind of cool just to have something that I could put in a different part of the house, you know? Let's say if someone wanted to uh, just use it for getting work done. I'm definitely into the hardware side of things, so it's kind of nice. It's really fun getting to take things apart, you know, and upgrade them. And I feel like with a PC, it's very easy since they're so modular, you know, you can easily switch parts in and out and uh, get a proper PC like up and running, you know, even just with like mostly spare parts. Sweet. All right. Anyways, guys, I wanted to say thank you guys all so much for watching. You guys are the best. All right. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video I make. All right. Sharp Seals signing out.